A Rich Dick's honorable mention this week goes to all the celebrities who crossed a picket line to attend a swanky Oscars after party hosted by Jay-Z. The event was at the Chateau Marmont Hotel, where Unite Here Local 11 workers have been leading a boycott since last year. They allege that management is union busting and that sexual harassment and racial discrimination are rampant. On the night of the party, 75 workers and supporters were outside protesting. In These Times compiled reports on the party and provided a rundown of some of the big names who crossed the picket. They included Rosario Dawson, Janelle Monet, Zoe Kravitz, Timothy Chalamet, Michael B. Jordan, Rihanna, Emily Ratkowski, Saweetie, Questlove, Daniel Kaluuya, Tiffany Haddish, Tyler Perry, Mindy Kaling, John Hamm, DJ Khaled, and Kim Kardashian. Some of those names aren't surprising at all. Others are pretty disappointing. Do better, guys. And apologies for any names I mispronounced. I am old and no longer hip on pop culture and haven't heard of some of these people. Another nominee this week comes from social media, where Game Buddy nominated Sony Pictures, which just purchased two major anime distributors, Crunchyroll and Funimation. Reports are that the company is exploiting translators and dub actors, paying them below the rates offered to unionized film workers. I don't watch any anime, but I know enough to know that that is not cool at all. So good nomination. But ultimately, the dishonor falls elsewhere this week. The rich dick is... BlackRock CEO Robert Capito. Capito attended a Texas oil and gas producers convention in Austin this week where he freaked out about inflation and attacked younger people for being entitled. Quote, for the first time, this generation is going to go into a store and not be able to get what they want, Capito claimed. He added, quote, we have a very entitled generation that has never had to sacrifice. Now, look, I'm not in the habit of defending my generational cohorts, but when boomers are talking about how easy we have it, no, fuck that. Capito belongs to a generation of Americans that have been more privileged and entitled than any other in human history. A time when workers got pensions, when healthcare, housing, and education were all affordable. And of course, this doesn't apply to everyone in this generation. African Americans were and still are discriminated against, with many unable to access all this historic wealth creation. Same with lots of women. But it sure as shit applies to Capito. Meanwhile, younger people today have had to live through 9-11 and its fallout with the global war on terror, global recession, a deadly worldwide pandemic, mass shootings. Oh, and fucking climate change, which Capito's BlackRock has helped subsidize through the years with its numerous investments in fossil fuel extractors and producers. All of this has led to millennials having worse economic prospects than their parents, than the prior generation, for really the first time in U.S. history. So, I honestly have no fucking clue what this Capito guy is talking about. Now, I'll acknowledge that there might be some controversy to this nomination. While most of the reporting on Capito's comments claimed he was referring to the younger generation, the original Bloomberg report on it doesn't specify which generation he was actually talking about. And there's no video of the event available that I found. So there's a chance Capito was referring to his own generation when he was talking about entitled, in which case he'd be entirely correct. But guys who are worth about $300 million and head the world's largest asset management firm don't get fair treatment around here. Sorry, Rob, but you're this week's Rich Dick. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.